West Leonard, please. No, thank you. I've been leaving messages all day. Are you sure he still works there? And there's nowhere else that I can reach him. Well, all right. You have the name Kirkland, K-I-R-K-L-A-N-D. It's written on about five other pieces of paper on his desk already. Well, well hallelujah, I will wait. Wes Leonard. Hello, Wes Leonard. This is Lee Kirkland. Lee Kirkland. That's a surprise. You know, there's, a, there's been another Lee Kirkland who's apparently been phoning me all day. Why, what a coincidence. Do I know either of you? I don't think so. Do you know each other? Oh, we're thick as thieves. Uh, do you always take such a long lunch? Did someone tell you I was at lunch? That was the impression I got. Uh, wrong. It was breakfast. At this time of the afternoon? Uh. I'm beginning to get worried here. Uh, there wouldn't happen to be two Wes Leonard's, would there? I mean, uh, another one who took over Jack Finelli's column on the Woodard Papers? Uh, no, 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 I'm the only Wes Leonard uh, that I know of, at any rate, much to the disappointment of a bevy of beauteous females. You have a lovely speaking voice. Do you sing? You aren't the least bit interested in why I called. Well, um, to tell you the truth, I worked all last night covering Soho nightlife, and I fell asleep at my typewriter and woke up with the world's worst hangover, and I'm only now beginning to reconnect words to thoughts and... Sights to sound. Oh, I see. Then this is really not the time to discuss anything serious. Is this a serious call? Well, uh, it was originally intended to be, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Do I know you, Kirkland? Um, the name is certainly familiar, and you mentioned Finelli. Are you related to Hollis Kirkland? I am. I'm his daughter. Fascinating. Then I've met your lovely sister, Amanda. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I uh, covered a party she gave to benefit the... Riverside Free Clinic, surely she must have told you. No, she neglected to mention that, but I'll certainly ask her about you. Uh, did you want me to cover another party? No, I had something a little more challenging in mind, actually, but I, I don't think this is the best time to discuss it. Why don't you uh, tell me a little more, and then we'll decide. Oh, well, it has to do with a new career for you. I like the one I've got. Well, you wouldn't have to give that one up. This would be uh, an adjunct, an offshoot, as it were. Uh, and it would be much more fun than what you're doing. I'm fascinated. Don't stop. Well, I'm considering putting you on my television station. Your television station? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> would you care to explore the idea in person? Uh, I'd care to explore it any way you want. Uh, just tell me where and uh, when. Well, how about my house after you've cleared out your cobweb? Well, I'm looking for the broom, even as we speak. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> Do you know where I live? Uh, the big house on Fifth Avenue. That's Okay, can you give me a couple hours? I have to turn in my column. I'll be in all evening. Okay, great. I'll join you as soon as I can. And I'm glad the other Lee Kirkland didn't get to me first. Uh, I think I'm glad there's only one Wes Leonard. Was that a compliment? I didn't stop to analyze it. I'm going to hang up now. No, oh, you go ahead. I will, too. All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Am I still welcome? Why wouldn't you be? I was afraid you might think I colluded with Lee. Colluded in my humiliation? She did not intend it that way. You missed the party. If you only heard about it from her, then you probably didn't get the full impact of the event. No, but I can imagine what it was like. You know, I warned her that you might not like her surprise. Well, then it makes it all the worse, doesn't it? Well, she knew I'm... ahead of time. If you just let me finish. She didn't believe me. She insisted that you'd understand and applaud her motive. You'd be ecstatic to have your job back, and I think she meant it. Yeah, well, it's too bad that uh, she knew so little about me after all the time we spent together. You know, she's pretty sad about it, too. Yeah? She sends you to tell me that? No, I'm here on my own. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention the other day that you're uh, representing her. Well, no. That would have spoiled the surprise. Ah, uh, we mustn't do that, should we? Huh? Yeah. You really think it would have made any difference, though? I mean, if she had discussed it with you, maybe asked your opinion, and then offered the job back to you in private? It's a moot point, Frank. She didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it might have made a difference. But that's not the way Lee operates. So, uh, so much for infatuation. 
Want a cup of coffee? No, thanks. So that's all it was, then? Nothing more. Well, for what it's worth, I think she loves you and still wants you back. Yeah, well, she can't have me, not on her terms. Maybe she could on your terms if she knew what they were. Too late. Sorry to hear that. She really is having a pretty rough time of it. <laughs> you know, she be, she's even considering hiring Wes Leonard to do your job. Wes Leonard? Yeah. What the hell does he know about television? About as much as you did, I guess. Well, I hope he advised her against it. I tried to. But she does need someone, after all, and if you're not available, well... Not interested. It's her station. She can do what she wants with it. Absolutely. I just thought you'd be interested to know what's going on. Huh? Well, I hope you didn't break lawyer-client privilege. No, she said I could tell you. Uh-huh. Figures. It was my idea, though. Mm -hmm. I thought you should have another chance. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay. I gotta tell you, though, buddy, I really think you are making one hell of a mistake. Yeah, well, I got the message. Young girls become living goddesses on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Then the royal heir is kidnapped on Matt Houston. After, a body vanishes and five of the world's most famous fumbling detectives try to figure out who done it. Peter Falk, Peter Sellers, and Alec Guinness star in Neil Simon's comedy, Murder by Death, the Sunday night movie. A mother and daughter divided by a man's love. Watch Opal and Jenny on All My Children, following FYI with Hal Linden, next on ABC.